Empty big box retail stores known to some people as ghost boxes dot the landscape in Brooklyn Center. When Kohl's closed two weeks ago and relocated in Plymouth, that created yet another retail vacancy in the city. But as Delane Cleveland reports, city officials have made a nearly $4 million investment to redevelop one noticeably vacant stretch of retail space. It was a great business environment, you know, at one point in time. Situated along Shingle Creek Parkway in Brooklyn Center sits nearly 186,000 square feet of empty retail space and memories of days gone by. That whole area was very vibrant. Today, Pep Boys is the only major tenant at the Brookdale Square shopping center, but it didn't always used to be that way. Back in its heyday, Brookdale Square was anchored by tenants such as Children's Palace in Circuit City. Today, the place is a virtual ghost town, but the city of Brooklyn Center hopes to change that. It's really sad to see really prime property like that sitting idle. Brooklyn Center Mayor Tim Wilson says the city closed on a deal to buy the property back in January for just under $4 million. You get to the point where, okay, should we do it? Should we market it? Should we start taking those steps or wait for private to come in and do that? And we just took the tact, we're not going to wait. We'll, we'll just see if we can spur redevelopment now. Since the acquisition, the city has hired a firm to determine what the best options are to transform Brookdale Square from a blighted property to a thriving center of activity. We've looked at uh, livable communities, uh, you know, higher scale apartment complexes, businesses that you can walk to. <laughs> Wilson says the goal is to spur redevelopment in the same way they did when Brookdale was torn down to make way for Shingle Creek Crossing. At some point in time, we hope to get back to when Brookdale and, and Brookdale Square were both vibrant and moving. In Brooklyn Center, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Mayor Wilson says the study on what to possibly do with Brookdale Square will go on for another couple of months. Meanwhile, he expects demolition on the property to begin this summer.